Tesla is one of the hottest stocks on the market today. It's trading up over $700 per share. But is it worth owning in your stock portfolio? That's what we're going to take a look at today. I am a certified financial planner professional and investment advisor Damon King with Chapelwood Financial Services. And on today's episode of Think Like an Advisor, I want to talk to you about a recent question I got from a client and he was looking at Tesla as a company to invest in in his stock portfolio and I mentioned to him that you can certainly go out and buy it yourself but we're not going to own Tesla inside of the accounts that we manage for you and he was curious about that you know he asked well Damon I've been hearing all this great stuff about Tesla you know Elon Musk everything he does uh, turns to gold. Why wouldn't we invest in Tesla? And I had to explain to him, well, you got to think about it like an advisor. When we as advisors look at stocks to own in your portfolio, and remember, we're talking mostly about portfolios of clients who are either in retirement or they're very close to retirement. We're looking at stocks that uh, either are paying a great dividend that we can use as part of an income plan or have a long track record of actually earning money. And this is the problem with Tesla. Let's take a look at a quick chart here. You can see that the price of Tesla is currently $757.60. This is changing in real time. You'll see that today the stock price is up over $107, 16% increase just on this one day. But look at the chart down below and you'll notice that going all the way back to before 2016, Tesla was trading at around $200 a share. It bumps around uh, relatively flat up until around 2017 and then you see the stock price goes up quite a bit and then it comes back down early in 2019 but then what happens we have a big run up in the stock market the overall market in 2019 was up almost 30 percent and Tesla was definitely a huge beneficiary of that movement but the real question here is is it warranted based upon the earnings of the company and the answer to that is not really let's take a look at another chart so what you're looking at here is the same five-year period that we looked at the stock price of Tesla. Now you're looking at their net income uh, by quarter and by year. And look at that line in blue. Those are negative earnings, okay? Going back before 2016 and again almost in real time here at the beginning of 2020. You'll notice that for most of that time, Tesla's earnings, its actual profit, is below zero. Now, there is one little period there that jumps up above the line, and in the fourth quarter of 2018, that was the first and only quarter that Tesla has reported positive net earnings for just one quarter, all right? So in one full year of Tesla's life, at no time has it ever posted a positive net earnings. Is there a lot of promise there? Yes. but. In terms of holding on to a stock in a portfolio for a client that needs cash flow in retirement, Tesla would not fit through our screens. And one of our screens is, does the company we're looking at buying have positive net earnings? In the case of Tesla, the answer to that is a resounding no. So as you can see, when your financial advisor is looking at uh, assets to own in your portfolio, when you ask your advisor about a specific asset that you would like to buy. Just because it's the hot thing out on the market today does not necessarily mean it's a good buy. All you have to do, in addition to looking at that information I just showed you about Tesla's stock price versus its earnings, all you've got to do is look back to the year 2000. What happened then? Well, that was the dot-com bubble that burst. You had hundreds of small startup companies out in Silicon Valley, and everybody was jumping on the technology train. The internet was really coming into its own. People were pumping billions and billions of dollars into these startup tech companies, and everybody wanted to get in on the action. But again, there was one key problem. Very few of these companies were actually posting a profit. What's going to happen with Tesla? Well, I don't know. I have every confidence that Elon Musk and the people at Tesla will find a way to eventually earn a profit. But as of now, if you ask me, should I own Tesla? I would say, well, that depends. 
Are you looking to speculate or are you looking for stocks that you can hold long term that have a long proven track record and that are going to contribute to your income stream, your cash flow in retirement? If that's the case, then Tesla is not a great buy. That's how to think like an advisor when looking to own various stocks in your portfolio. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. Subscribe to the Financial Diva channel. You get all of our latest updates and videos on uh, news that is affecting the market, as well as what we look for when we're trying to build portfolios and advise our clients. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.